magicians. So I'm super excited because today I'm gonna be reviewing the Collectibles Rodeo set. And this is something that I've been wanting to review for a really, really long time because the last time I did a review on collectibles, it was a review of a three-piece bowl set. I got a ton of feedback from people saying that they really, really liked it. So I'm here to review the other collectibles product that um, Briar has out right now. They only have those three bowls and then this rodeo set. And I want to just show it to people because there are no reviews of this product online. So nobody's really done like a box opening of this product. So it's like kind of hard to know what you're gonna get if you order it. So that's why I'm doing this review. So if you're thinking of buying this, now you know what you're gonna be getting. Um, so let's take a let's take a look at the packaging. I remember being really impressed by the packaging on the three-piece set. So it says collectibles rodeo. You see every cowboy's nightmare. It's man against beast in the world's toughest eight seconds in sports. That's pretty cool. And on the back, it has a really nice picture of the rodeo all set up. That says, take a trip to the rodeo with this fun set. A cowboy rides his well-trained horse while another rides a bucking bull. Which one will bring home the trophy? And then it has a little pitch for stable mates, tells you what you're getting. And yeah, this is really nice. They always do such a nice job with the packaging, but especially on this, uh, this line, the collectibles, they have such cool packaging. So yeah, I almost feel bad cutting it up because it looks so nice. And if you look inside, they actually have everything kind of set up, like everything's wired in place. So it looks like they're, they're actually writing. So that's really cool. And uh, unfortunately, it's probably going to be kind of hard to get this open, but uh, we'll give it a shot anyway. Everything is loose now. So first we're gonna get off the cowboy on the cutting horse. A little piece of plastic under them. Ah, look at this. Ah, he's nice. Okay, so this is the cowboy on the cutting horse. Um, he's got a rubber band holding him on there, so I'm just gonna take that off so we can, we can take a look at the cowboy. So here's our little cowboy. Oh, there's another one. Um, I actually don't have a cowboy in this mold. So this one is shaped so that he can ride horses, not bulls. It looks like he has a little lasso, he's got some jeans on, he's got two gloves instead of just one, green shirt, and a nice hat. Yeah, I like this guy. Okay, so now I have a cowboy that can ride horses instead of just bulls. Here's the horse. Ooh, got a really nice set of black western tack on with silver trim. And it's super easy to take off as well. I really like the stable mates tack because it's stretchy so you can just like pop it on and off. And the, the uh, saddles have a nice little buckle on the bottom. So you can just take the, the saddle off pretty easily as well. And they're stretchy, so you don't have to worry about cracking them or anything like that. So it's very non-stressful. So it just comes off. There's the tack. And here's the horse. So this is, I believe, a quarter horse mold for a quarter horse gelding that's doing kind of a turning motion. And I have to admit, this mold isn't one of my favorites, but I really like what they've done with it here. It's a really nice, dark bay. Uh, kind of a copper bay. There is a box rub right there on the flank. The camera will just focus. It's not focusing. But there's a little box. There's a little box rub right there. So the horse is a bit rubbed. That's what usually happens in these fancier packages with the, the wires and then things do tend to get nicked up, which is unfortunate. But um, still the horse looks really nice. I like the little stripe on the nose and there's two white socks in the back here. So this is a nice horse. I like this one. Finish is very nice. Shading is nice as well. So I'm pleased with the horse overall. Oh no, he fell over. There we go. Okay, and now let's take a look at this bowl. Ooh, this is so exciting. So, I've already cut the wire, so we should be able to just get him out of there. No? Oh, this one hasn't been cut yet. Silly me. There we go. Here he comes. Ah, okay, here's the bowl. Wow, look at him. Wow. He's really cool. Okay, so we have some more rubber bands. So I got the rubber band off. Here is our cowboy. He's different from the ones I got in the other set because he has um, he has kind of cream colored chaps on and then you can see his blue jeans at the back. He's got a brown vest and a blue shirt. And what's really nice about him is that he's articulated. The other cowboy isn't. Like you can't move his arms and stuff. Except, oh, I think this one you may be able to move? No. Okay, so this cowboy you can't move. 
His head doesn't even move, right? But this one is articulated, so both of his arms move, right, up and down, and his head turns. So I really like these, even though they can't really ride horses as much because their legs are too wide, but, um, unless, maybe he can. I think I'll try him out on a horse and see if he can ride horses. I'm not sure. Um, so he's articulated, which is super nice. And then here's the bull with this awful rubber band. And also, they, they seem to have wrapped the bull with plastic to keep the, the cowboy from, um, getting stuck. So... <laughs> Let's see if we can get this plastic off. There we go. Ah, this is really nice. Okay, so this is a Palomino kind of bowl um, with kind of a light tawny coloring. Look how nice that shading is. I always love the job that they do on these bowls. Like, they pay such attention to detail. There's, the sculpting is just exquisite. Um, and the bowl is also nowhere near as heavy as the other ones. Like, I remember when I reviewed the three-piece set, I, I remarked on how heavy they were, and they felt like they were made of resin, but this one doesn't feel as heavy, which is kind of nice, because now I'm not as worried. If I tip him over, I don't think he'll break as easily. So, he's really nice looking. I think they also give you a stand. Yes, they do. So, let me see. The stand is in here with all this plastic. Here's the stand. Oh, and it has a name. It says Jumpstart. So it, uh, on, in the product description on the website, it actually doesn't tell you the bull's name, but if you look, it says his name is Jumpstart. So now we know we have a new addition to the bull family. His name is Jumpstart. And this little peg just fits into his belly. There's a little hole under his belly. And you have to rotate it because it doesn't seat properly on the first try. Once you get him on there, there you go. So that way it stands and it looks like he's jumping. So that's really exciting. And then the last thing is that they give you some stock fencing, which is interesting because this is different from the regular wooden stable mates fencing that looks like wood. This actually looks like the metal fencing that you see at rodeos. So here's the fencing. And I think they give you four pieces and like the standard stable mates fencing, it just, it slots together with these little pegs. So what's really nice about this is that you can either line all the four pieces up so you can either have a long piece of fence to go in the back or you can connect it together at the end here to make a stock pen so that you can set it up like this and put animals inside and it'll keep them from running away. So we can put our horse inside of there and then our horse can just hang out until we're ready for the rodeo. So as I mentioned, I do want to try out to see if the cowboy that came sitting on the bull can actually ride horses because I was sort of under the impression that the cowboys that are molded for the bulls have their legs too far apart to sit properly on a horse. But looking at him, I'm not so sure. He looks pretty similar to the cowboy that came on the horse. So I'm just gonna put the saddle on uh, and we're gonna try to sit this fellow on a horse and see if he can stay. And yeah, he kinda can. The saddle's slipping around because I haven't tied it down properly. But if you look at him from the front, he seated pretty well, so that's really nice. I didn't realize that. So with this set, you can get all set up for an exciting day at the rodeo. But mm, this rodeo is looking a little bit empty. I think it needs some more horse action. So today, I'm also going to be opening up this mare and foal set from Briar, the gray mare and chestnut foal, and this set, the bay mare and foal. So this way, we can get a couple more Mustangs into this show and make it a little bit more interesting. So let's take a look at the Gray Mare and Chestnut Foal set first. I think they changed the packaging a little bit from when these sets were first released. Um, I think the uh, the barns, the, the cardboard barn roof looks a little bit different. I think it's rounder than it used to be, but that's okay. Um, it looks nice. So I have to remember how to get these open. There's so much tape, I don't really know where the flaps are. Ah, okay, here we go. So here are the horses. And the mom horse, the mother, is really pretty. Look at that lovely shading. So this is one of those times when Briar has chosen to paint the entire horse white as opposed to just shading a blank horse. So there's white paint there. Um, but I kind of like the way it looks because then the horse isn't just pure white. It gives her kind of a gray cast. So I kind of like this one. Um, no other markings. Her face is really cute. Look how cute her face is. She's so nice. And this is the standing Saddlebred Mare um, mold. So I really like this mold. I have a lot of horses in this mold, but I still like it. For some reason, it's just one of my favorites. I love how graceful and, and kind of calm the horse looks. So I like this horse. 
So here's the foal. He's in the standing foal mold. I really like this mold. He looks kind of proud and excited about something. He's looking off into the distance. Um, and he's a beautiful chestnut color. He has a little star on his face. No other white markings. Um, and this is one of the nicest shaded foals that I've seen. Like, usually they don't shade the foal's legs this nice, but they did on this one. And they even shaded his hooves in uh, light gray. So this is a really well done foal. I really like it. And he has a kind of a shiny finish on him as well. So they did a super nice job on both these horses, but especially the foal. So really like this one. Let's put them in the side. And let's take a look at the bay mare and foal. I'm kind of a sucker for bay horses, especially the dark ones. So I'm really excited about this set. Let's get it open the same way we did the other one. Here's the foal. So I'm so happy they chose to use this mold because I only have one other foal on this mold and it's so cute. The foal just looks so young, almost like a newborn. Um, and it's so, it's so delicately molded as well. Look at that little leg out in the front there. Look how thin it is. So this foal looks like he has two stockings in the back, one in the front, no facial markings, and he's kind of a, a muddier bay than his mom. He looks kind of like a dark, almost liver bay, but not quite as dark. Um, so maybe his father's kind of a, a more of a gray bay horse. I'm not sure, but it's really pretty. I really like, again, they did such a nice job with the foals in these sets. Um, so there's the foal, and here's the mom. Ah, oh, yeah, look at that bay. She's a blood bay, so she's very red, but she's also got some copper tones in her, and the shading is so nice. Look at the shading around the mane. They did such a nice job with these. She has four white stockings, no face markings, just like her full, and just a rich, shiny black on her mane and tail. I really like the way they did that, and the coloring on the legs is so nicely blended as well. So I am really, really pleased with these horses. Um, as you probably know, the quality of stable mates like varies between sets, so some of the sets have really good shading and some don't, but the shading in these two sets is extremely impressive, so I would definitely suggest these for people that really care about the way their models are painted. The, the horses in these sets are very well done, so yeah, I really like both these horses. So. That's the Bay Marinful set. Um, Briar also offers two other sets. There's an Appaloosa Marinful, which I already have, and then there's a Gruya Marinful, which I decided not to get because I'm not too crazy about the molds, but they're also very well painted because I've seen photos of them and I know. So if you like these sets, I'd suggest getting all four because they're not gonna be selling them for much longer. So now, our rodeo is totally full. We have all kinds of horses in here. We have two foals. And we have a bull off to the side here. He's having a good time. He's kicking. That stand really makes him look like he's up in the air. So I'm just going to leave this video here at the rodeo. And I hope that you magicians have a great day.